Before this job, I was a DEI officer, which is diversity, equity, and inclusion, of course, and it was a very stressful job. What, what did you do? Like, what did it? What was your purview? Preparing presentations, making sure people knew what the definition of racism was, like just so that everyone knew what they were accountable for. In and my that alone work. was hell. Of course, because people wanted to be like, why are you making me feel bad? I'm trying. And I'm like, I'm literally defining a word. I'm, <laughs> I'm Webster today. But it was such a stressful job. And so I think from now on, I'm just going to be black for free. Uh, <laughs> <I know. laughs> Wait a second. That's what got us in this mess. <laughs> Let's not be black for free. I don't like that. No, 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 no. Come on. Hold on. Like compensation. Uh, but but it wasn't worth it, truly. America doesn't understand residuals. Oh, oh my. You're saying America doesn't work in TV? <laughs> Kay, are you telling me that getting $2.36 from HBO, I don't understand that? After a job is done, mm -hmm. there are some residuals. So we were watching uh, the, the video of Ruby Bridges going to school on the first day, six years old, with the courage of a superhero, mm -hmm. like parting a Red Sea of, of, of Jim Crow logic and, and walking to school. And you look around, and there are just the meanest faces you've ever seen, people who like hate this child going to school. But right next to them, you see these faces of these children who are also like really young and they are spewing the same things that they see their parents doing. And I saw one kid and just, you, it was an end coming out of his pores. And, oh. and when you look at that face, I think vile, mean, inhumane hate. Mm -hmm. But when my white friend looks at that face, he thinks, granddad. Yeah. And that's yeah. how residuals work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it's passed down. Yeah. <laughs> well, but we, you're talking about the recent, the recent history of this and how we can't escape it and say, oh, it was so long ago when Ruby Bridges is literally like, I'm right here, yeah. y'all. I'm on Facebook. <laughs> you <laughs> friends with Ruby Bridges on no, Facebook? No, well, she declined it, but it's Black History Month, so we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> But that's the biggest but. The biggest but for people is, no question, slavery was a wrong, but you're not slaves now. But it's, that's always, always. Well, they you're say, not slaves now. I, but I didn't enslave you. Exactly. But, and it's all those things that, what's so interesting is to flip the script, and it's something we talked about. The new thing now is to twist Martin Luther King to mm -hmm. say, what? I want to be colorblind. I'm just judging by the content of your character. Why, why is that wrong? And isn't it to deny me my place at Harvard and force me to go to University of Michigan? Tough. You know? Tough <laughs> and what you want to say is like, what do you think would be the negative impact of you not getting that opportunity? Do you think it would have any consequence? And if they say yes, then it's kind of over because all you have to say is, right, it has impact. Yeah, mm. and that impact is compounded, and it's innumerable yes. when it happens Correct. At, an, at like a rate that went hundreds of years. It's exponential. When you get out of prison, they give you $10. When they freed slaves, they just went like, Thank you for your service. Yeah. <laughs> like, and that was it. And then they were like, well, what do we do now? And then the, guy, the same guy that was the master was like, well, I do have some jobs available. Uh, if you want to come back Tuesday, I got something for you. Right, <laughs> right, right. I won't hit you, though. <laughs> you can just work, and I'll let so, you go home. So here's how we're going to do it. You're going to live on the same oh, land. No, you're going to stay no. in the same quarters. No. And you're really not going to get paid because you're working off of a debt. But I am not going to hit you anymore. And they said, I'm oh, but a hard maybe. I yes. know, I know. Right. Right. Exactly. Just right. call me but, sir. Uh, but then also Master they said, no, okay, so let's say you don't want to work on this land. You don't want to share a crop. There is a new law that all black people have to have a job. That's what happens with a vagrancy law. You go, yeah. it's yeah. not even, you're not allowed to walk around here. Are you loitering? Yeah. yeah. Are you just hanging out? Are you just existing? Oh, also, can we address the fact that my freedom was 13th. 
<laughs> yes. And guns are second. If, right. You can say what you want. You can shoot who you want. Yeah, Ten yeah. other amendments, well, and then maybe I shouldn't own As long own as Frank. it's first in your heart, that's yeah. all that matters. And, right. and, and Kaysan, we were very worried about soldiers coming in and living in our houses. So, that's you right. know, the third was important. <laughs> I forgot that one's in there. By the way, the second is what made it so that we had to wait till the 13th. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no question there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.